have the pleasure of speaking with Christopher Ecclestone from Molten Metals. How are you today? Very well, thank you. Newly listed, three weeks on the market, 17 million shares outstanding. Tell me why, as an investor out there, looking at everything out there, Christopher, the top three reasons why I should put Molten Metals on my radar list. Okay. Uh, the first is, oh, they're actually production, production, production. Um, the old real estate um, slogan is relevant to us because, um, you know, we're totally dedicated to production. We're not interested in fooling around. We're not interested in spending enormous number of years and amounts of money on uh, exploration. We just want to get to production because the prices are up and uh, we want to harvest those prices. So you were talking earlier in investor talk about being the quiet achie achiever. Can you tell us what you mean and tell me a little bit more about the timeline we should anticipate in the next quarter, for instance? Okay. Well, you know, we, were, we had a very low-key uh, entrance to the market. We didn't do an IPO. It was just an introduction to the market. We did not want to say too much about what we were doing. One was because we didn't want to be gazumped by other people moving into the space. Um, we feel relatively comfortable about that now because um, it seems like not that many people know enough about intermediate sort of get in front of us in the way that, uh, for instance, in the rare earth boom of 10 years ago, so many people, you know, want to be sort of like piled in um, on top of the first few, few movers. Um, so we're a first mover and we want to be uh, eventually, um, in five years from now, the largest non-Chinese producer of antimony. And at the moment, we are the only uh, non-Chinese listed miner dedicated to antimony. Well, if first mover advantage doesn't get you excited, I want to remind everybody at Investor Intel that Christopher Ecclestone happens to be if not the top analyst <laughs> in the critical mineral sector. <laughs> so let me ask you, are you going to be doing a research report on molten metals? No, I will not. <laughs> One company I won't cover. Uh, you know, have to, the market will have to rely upon me uh, speaking about the company, but uh, I can't prognosticate uh, in the way I usually do. So uh, once my hands are tied, so you're putting your name and reputation behind antimony and molten metals. Is that correct? Yes, indeed. And it's the been name. very frustrating for a long while that I've covered antimony and there have been so few companies to actually cover. And some of the ones that were around have disappeared. So um, it, it sort of left the field open and very tempting. But while the prices were down, it was not attractive. But now that the price is 13,500 a tonne, um, after a long term, you know, decades of being two and a half thousand a ton, um, it's a pretty good moment to be an antimony. Well, for everybody out there, we're just going to get you interested in going to the website to learn more about molten metals. And if you want more information, send it to Christopher Ecclestone. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you very much.